We have a really wonderful show for you all tonight. Um, I'm looking forward to whatever happens here on stage. Some of it will be a mystery, even to me. And that's always the fun part. One of, one of the many fun parts. And if you feel inspired, I will be offering moments in time where you can come up and perform your own act. So if you have something up your sleeve or in your back pocket, by all means, you just wait for that opportunity and you will have it. Uh, let's see. We still have some people trickling in. Do you believe them? Do I get to tell more jokes or what? <laughs> not yet, not yet. Okay, well I'm going to welcome our very first performer of the evening. But first, uh, just a few housekeeping uh, tips and whatnot. We do have an outhouse. If you follow back there, there's some jugs. Those will be lit up later once it gets darker. So that outhouse is right back there. We have water and raw milk available for free. No purchase necessary. <laughs> And there are also Flack Family Farm t-shirts available for purchase. So if you brought a little cash tonight or check, mm -hmm. that's where we are, the Flack Family Farm. Did I mention that yet? <laughs> but I'm sure you all know that. And yeah, I just hope that you all enjoy the show. If you need anything or you have questions, you can ask me or Julie at the table or Brian. Yeah, they can help and, and guide and navigate. So I think that's all I have for now. Welcome, thank you, be comfy, and I hope that you all stay all the way till the end because when it gets dark, you know, it gets real crazy up here. Okay, and next, first, we have our first act, the great and grand Al Salzman. Yeah, it'll take me a while to set the mic up. Everybody can you hear? Yeah. You know, I, uh, I'm very fond of saying that uh, Betty Davis, the actress, once said that getting old is not for sissies. Well, I'm 90 years old. And, uh, yeah, well, I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> but um, what she didn't realize is that when you're getting old as I am, when you're surrounded by loving, partners and a son, uh, it's pretty easy to uh, maintain kind of a lifestyle at the age of 90. My dear wife Gail and my beloved son Jonah have made 90 years really wonderful. So um, that's that. Okay, now, uh, <laughs> I'm going to do two Shakespeare sonnets and two folk songs. And um, don't worry if some of the language, uh, some of the Shakespearean language is uh, obscure and difficult to understand. Just listen to the rhythm of these sonnets. They're quite remarkable. Uh, they're about getting old and love. <clears throat> that time of year thou mayest in me behold when yellow leaves or none, or few, hang upon the bough that shakes against the cold, bare ruined choirs, where late the sweet birds sang. In me thou seest the twilight of such day, as after sunset fadeth in the west, which by and by black night doth take away death's second self which seals up all the rest. In me thou seest the color of such fire, 
that on the ashes of his bed doth lie, as a deathbed whereon it must expire, consumed by that which it was nourished by, that thou perceivest makes thy love more strong to love so well that which thou must leave ere long. When in disgrace with fortune and men's eyes, I all alone beweep my outcast state and suffer death's heaven with my bootless cries and think on myself and curse my fate, wishing me like to one more rich in hope, featured like him, like him with friends possessed, desiring that man's art and this man's scope with what I most enjoy content at least. Yet, in these thoughts, myself almost despising, happily I think on thee, and then like to the lark, arising from sullen earth to sing hymns at heaven's gate for thy sweet love remembered such wealth brings that i scorn to change my state with kings Yes. 
A struggling dairy farmer worries that the milk price that he gets won't cover his expenses and drive him deeper into debt. A family was evicted with just the clothes upon their backs. Their mortgage was a phony robo signed by Goldman Sachs. And the banks are made of marble with a guard at every door. And the vaults are lined with silver that the workers sweated. Governor Scott won't ask the wealthy to pay a little more. He'd rather balance the budget on the workers and the poor. If you steal a billion dollars, they'll make you chairman of the Fed. But you'll do hard time in prison if you steal a loaf of bread. And the banks are made of marble with a guard at every door. And the vaults are lined with silver that the workers sweat all those big oil speculators think that we're a bunch of chumps. They drive up oil prices and gouge us at the pumps. And the banks are made of marble with a guard at every door. And the vaults are lined with silver that the workers sweat is A wounded Iraq veteran with no job to pay his rent is sleeping by the highway in a surplus army. My corporation bosses outsource my job away to a worker across the ocean getting one-tenth of my pay. And the banks are made of marble with a guard at every door. And the vaults Aligned with silver that the workers sweated for. Six loony Supreme Court justices in their robes of black are taking away our freedoms. Will we ever get them? The deceitful politician pretends he really cares, but he bought and paid for by creepy billionaires. And the banks are made of marble with a guard at every door, and the vaults aligned with silver that the workers sweat for. Oh, the banks are made of marble with a guard at every door. And the vaults are lined with silver that the workers sweat
Thanks a lot for